Here be signs that appease long dead lords and kings of yesteryear, and echo forgotten tales from our ancient folklore. Like with the strange street names and iconic red pillar boxes, these timeless symbols are woven into the very fabric of our identity and collective consciousness, and yet it's a secret world, hidden in plain sight. In an archaic time when buildings weren't numbered and the vast majority of Brits couldn't even read or write, tradesman signs became crucial landmarks, even eclipsing the places they originally referred to. Tradesmen competed against each other in erecting the most lavish and impressive signs. Travellers would navigate their way along unnamed and unlit dirt tracks and primitive roads via a myriad of hieroglyph-like signposts to their destination and a place to drink and sleep. As far back as King Richard II, whose heraldic coat of arms coincidentally included the White Heart, made it mandatory for all public houses to display a sign outside. Fast forward to the 1950s and the Whitbread Brewery paid homage to this rich symbolic heritage which they probably owed their very existence to by issuing miniature insides, sending countless collectors off on epic pub crawl pilgrimages to complete their Mission Impossible card sets. Like all good things, it came to an end. But now the cards sometimes resurface in quaint antique bric-a-brac arcades like this one in the Hive Mort House that fittingly used to be owned by the world famous Mackerson Brewery with a long heritage of its own. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video you might want to click on these other cardboard adventures.